So hello and good evening, this is Rus Pozuelo from Curval.com and it is time again for Dax Fridays and this Friday is a Black Friday. So make sure you keep your wallets at home, you don't watch TV, read newspapers or are on the internet except for YouTube here with me <laughs> and I'll promise you I'll save you a lot of money. Uh, in today's function we're actually going to talk about a function called data table and I have shown you before how to create uh, tables in uh, Power Pivot but this is by far the best way to do it because you can actually do everything you need for a table in once and then you can incorporate that into a bigger DAX query or DAX measure. But today we will go through the data table function only and then we will build on that so on future DAX Fridays videos. So best way to create a data table? Just keep on watching. Okay, so I have shown you before how to create uh, tables in um, Power BI or in Power Pivot section of Power BI using DAX. Uh, the first video was uh, DAX Fridays 55 and uh, the drawback with this was that you couldn't have column names. Okay, and uh, I corrected that and did a Power DAX Fridays 56 and I explained row. And uh, using row together with union you can create tables and um, specified column names. But the last piece of the puzzle that was missing was to actually add the data type for the column. And can you do that? Can you do wonderful things and then put this table into a bigger DAX measure and do like wonderful things? <laughs> so these two are valid, but data table will allow you to do better. So if we go to the uh, function, Itself here is the syntax. I'll show you how that is done. Don't worry. You have a column name, then you have a data type. And uh, I explain on the glossary what these things are. I'll show you in a second. And then um, the values. So basically you write it like this and then you create a table. You can create a table with a column name and with the data type for the column. So this is the most complete way to create a table, the best way, basically. So in the Power BI glossary on my blog, you can actually, if we go there, so you can see how that works. In case you haven't seen it before, you can just search by uh, data table and now there is no YouTube video here for data table because I am basically recording it. But um, the video that you will see will appear here. But you have uh, the syntax here, you will go to the Microsoft page. And here you have the allowed data types, which are integer, which is a whole number, double is a decimal number, string is text, boolean is true or false, and then you have carries and date and time. Uh, you need to write these names to the column and I'll show you in a second how that is done. Uh, for the example of this video, just click here and then you will get a Power BI file with the example that I show you during the video. And here you will find the other ways to create data tables that I shown you before, but you will get also a link on the description box. But let's go ahead and explain how data table works. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and this is actually the file that I use for the video that I show you first for, for both videos, for, for enter table and for row. So I will continue so you have all the information on one DAX file or one Power BI file. And what we did here was to create a table uh, with these. It was um, where you can specify the column names and then I showed you the function row together with union, right? This is in here. You will get a link on how this was done, don't worry. So here you could specify the name of the columns, which is here with the first row, and then you could add rows to that. Um, so um, that way you could create a table, but now has 
Power BI has guessed that this is a number and this is a text, but if we would like to have this as text, you have no way to do it but afterwards. Now, if you want to use this table in a bigger DAX function, then you should be able to specify the data type that you want right, right away, right? And that is where data table will help you to do that. So that is a better function, basically. I would say also that it's easier to write, especially if you write on a big table. But that is a personal thing. I mean, I mean maybe it's not for you. So anyhow, how about we explain how data table works? Data table, and then we write like that. And now we have to convert this to data table format. So. The first thing you need to do is to specify the name of the column and the um, data type. Okay, so in this case we have ID and we want ID to be a number, so it is an integer. We want to be a whole number, you know, without decimals. Then we have name and we want this to be a string. And now you specify the, um, the rows that you want to have, basically. And instead of parentheses, we need to have these curly brackets, is it called? I always forget, sorry. So we have to change those things with curly brackets. And I need to change that one with the other one. Put it in there. Put it in there. And voila, here we have our data table where we have specified the data type. Now, as you can see, this is number, this is text. Let's put this as text. And voila, this is it. So you can actually specify exactly how your table should look like. And then you can put this into a bigger DAX measure and do all kinds of cool stuff. So um, yeah, it's very useful. Function. Now I make <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to try to remember for these videos to always format this the correct way, um, like Frederick told us to do. So I was going to do it on the previous video, I forgot, so let's do it now. Um, so we go to DAX formatter there. And then um, we will paste everything in here. We will click format and some magic will happen. And then we will copy this and paste it back. So let's paste this back. And now we have a wonderful written DAX um, formats or measures, functions, okay? So remember to do that so the, the uh, code gets easier to use. Now, I got these asked by a customer um, and actually I didn't know the answer. It's like, or when I use tax formatter, and I don't know if anybody of the SQL BI team is, is watching this, but if you are, uh, they were asking me, does the SQL BI team save the um, the measures we format there uh, and I actually don't know so if you are listening or if you know you guys that are listening let me know because it was a little bit of a concern for them to use it and uh, I actually don't know if they do save the queries that you format so very grateful if you can tell me at least uh, I will otherwise try to reach uh, Marco and Alberto and ask them directly. Um, yeah, so this is all for today. So I really hope that you enjoy today's video and that you use a data table uh, instead of row union or anything else to create your ad hoc tables uh, because it is actually the best method to do it. I really hope you enjoy your uh, Black Friday weekend again make sure you keep your wallet safe somewhere where you can reach it 
And uh, if you survive the weekend, I will see you again on Monday. So have a fantastic weekend. Bye.